Welcome back, my amazing fellow freedom fighters and lovers of freedom across the aisles. My returning subscribers and those who are watching from a distance, you guys are awesomely so sweet. May the peace of the Lord be with you all and may the joy of the Lord envelop you. Amen. I'm asking those who are watching from a distance to do your sister a favor. Please, go ahead. Smack the red button. Click the notification bell. So whenever we upload, you'll be able to get notified. On this very particular video, it is the exposure against Femi Fani Kayode. The man is living a precarious life. It is very important to keep the trust people have on you. It is a dangerous thing to betray trust. Femi Fani Kayode drew closer to Nam De Kano. You knew what happened. He drew closer to Igboho. You knew what happened. Including the wife. Anybody that is willing to use anybody as a ladder to crime. That you are now I felt pity for a man who claims to have helped the lots of people I am posting and everybody has left him in the state where he was. Mm. So mostly what I did was whenever he came to court, I, want you to I was in Lagos, I will follow him to court. Mm. Then when I came to Abuja, I was there with him. But we were not sexually involved. Okay. Because at that time, I was really hurt by my previous relationship. Okay. Finding out that there was someone else there. So for mm -hmm. me, it was like, you know, I've had enough. Okay. Because later on, I saw a wedding invitation of this person I was waiting for. Right. And that broke me. Mm -hmm. I had, I just made a harsh decision of not even getting married. Okay. I just walked and said, you've been asking for babies. You said you wanted us to have, you right. wanted sons, right? This is what you said to your, your the, what you call the father of your children. Yeah. Yes. He okay. was asking for kids because he said black. I said getting black males like, Oh, people are seeing you around me, and next thing they're saying, you're a gold digger, you're going to leave me. Oh, this person has published this, they called you a gold digger. Uh, to shut out their insinuations, I think it is best you give me sons. Mm. You know, I don't have sons. I have five daughters, but I don't have sons. You can look at the house, there's nobody, nobody visits me. I want kids. Right. So, we right. went for IVF. Right. He was specific, he wanted, he wanted sons, that he had five daughters. Right. And he's never had a son. So the IVF was to ensure that he had sons. Yes, we had sex selection done. Right. And then I had to go receive back the embryos into me. They were implanted and I waited. Even at the cost of that embryo implanting in me, I had the most violent experience, beatings and all of it. Why? So he beat you yeah. while you were trying to get pregnant? Even when you. I was pregnant with my first child. Hmm. When it was confirmed that I was pregnant, pregnant right. it was even confirmed that it was a boy. Right, and he knew. He knew. And he would punch me in my stomach, call the baby. Is, that because, is it because of the cockroach you're carrying in you? Is that why you're doing this? He would punch me, punch me, and he would tell me that he would get rid of it. He would get the cockroach out of my stomach. This thing was not a situation people don't know. Lots of people knew about it. Mm. Big names. Because whenever he beats me up, and I threaten to leave back my things, go to the door. There's drama, bodyguards bundle me, everything. He ends up, because I am so adamant on leaving, he will call someone, maybe someone of high esteem, mm. to talk to me. The Dasukis have been involved. Both Colonel Sambo Dasuki himself, his wife, has been involved. Namde Kano at some point has called me to plead with me. Namde called to plead with you yes. to stay with FFP. Yes, October 2019, I left. He, um, he insulted me at, openly at a dinner we had in a um, Slick, Slick Bay Chinese restaurant here in Abuja. Now the Kanu's lawyer, Ijofo, was present in that meeting. Some journalists were there, and um, some of my friends were there. They can bear witness to this. He openly insulted me because I was taking pictures with my friends that came, and he wanted me to come and sit by his side. Then I said, we're having a conversation, but you told me you were taking me out for dinner just the two of us mm. and then we i get to the dinner place lots of people were there mm. i got a call from late tb joshua yeah pleading with me to at least come over to lagos that he wants to settle the issue so he pleaded he told me he's a man of god he does not like the issues he's hearing and that he would like peace to reign I explained that I went on a rant, I was telling him everything, how he started, how he got to this point, how I am done. And 
he said it's okay that he wants to sit and have a conversation with me mm. and that if after the conversation i still feel strongly about not um staying with him then he will know that he has tried but that he must do his brother a favor by talking to me as he had asked him to so he came picked me from that place and we flew we went to the airport and flew to lagos we were keeping distances i, I had my face this way he had his face that way we got to lagos the first thing we did when we got to Lagos, um, I think we went to the judge hotel, was ask for photos to be taken, because it's a stock in trade. Whenever there's a fight, there must be a photo to, bo to debunk stories. Right, because there have been this story in Sahara Reporters. Yeah. So the first thing he's going to ask is for a picture to debunk stories. That's the first thing he does whenever there's a fight. Next thing, he flips this host. Whatever caused the issue then was that I wanted to go have the kids abroad. I really wanted to have the triplets abroad because... It's a triplet pregnancy. I've never experienced it. I felt like my life was on the line because plus the beatings and everything, I had several hospital in and out. So I felt it would have been better to have these kids abroad. So if there's any emergency, I am sure I will be alive. Mm. That was my plan. Initially, he said, okay, we would go. Next thing, if I ask him, he will say, no, we can't go. That's, uh, he doesn't have enough money for that, for me to go and have the kids abroad. Hmm. Now, when it becomes too much for me, of course I would explode. Like, you know what? I'm tired. This is too much. I can't deal with this anymore. That's it. Oh, you're rude. You're sussy from the part of where you come from. You guys are rude. It's 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 um it's a trait of the evils. It's a it's it's imbued in you guys. That's how you guys are. Blah blah blah. It becomes an insult, and from one thing leads to the other. It's exchange. It's a slap. Is this? Is that? Right. Yeah. So <laughs> Th this is this is not important to personal story, but he is publicly very supportive of Igbo causes, so this is very surprising. Well, he is not inside the house. Right. I would say it's wherever, and he knows, because he would say it's a cultural things with the Igbos, that we are rude. Mm. That's his word. That we are rude, that it's a cultural thing, but that's why we don't have a hierarchy. I heard all of that from him. There's, there's so many things I didn't know about the history of the Igbos that I learned from him. Now, that's the credit, but... The kind of words or the way they are phrased were things I couldn't deal with because I saw him in two different faces. Yeah. In public, he was sympathetic to the evil cause. In the house, we are rude, we deserved it, and it's because we don't have a hierarchy. Mm -hmm. We don't have an order of... Now, even the staff in the house, that you are an evil staff is a problem. That's what he says. That evil boy, I don't like him. Sack him. You're called by your language. Mm. That's that evil boy. Uh, that evil driver. That Ruby is an evil boy. You know, things like that. Right. They, they make me cringe. And I'm mm. like, in public, you're so amazing with the evils. Mm. Everybody, they adore you. They, that's why when I have the IPOB boys defending him on his wall, I look at them and I shake my head. I'm like, only if they knew. Mm. Only if they knew. Only if they knew. That's what I say at that time. Because... Yeah. He wasn't sitting well with me. And, of course, they'll tell you, don't wash your dirty millions in public. I won't come to the public and say this is what he's saying and that's what he's doing. So I just, I kept quiet. When you left in August 2020, which is where everything began to fall apart yes, fully. fully. You were not even, you still didn't, you were not the one that went to the media to announce I all of this. did not announce anything. To really? Me. Yes. That's why it appeared to me like you were the one that came out and talked about I'm a very private person. Right. Even when this this whole relationship was mm. breaking down, mm. there was a point where I called him. He was flaunting pictures of girls online, putting out stuff. After you had left, or no, you we were still, still together. He, there, there's no day, there's no month, there's no drama that throws me out of the house. I'll be beaten and thrown out of the house. There's no <laughs> month that comes without drama. Some people even noticed on my birthday in 2020 that I wasn't smiling. There was a video he put where he read a poem to me. I was faced another direction and he was faced in the direction. The only moment I calmed down was when my son came in between us and sat down. So I held my son and I smiled a bit. People noticed that. But what people didn't know was I was not in his house until a day to that birthday. Mm -hmm. He just wanted me back for photo ops mm -hmm. because he knows that I share the same birthday with the triplets mm -hmm. and they can't have a birthday without, without me in the house. So he came, did what he could do, appeased. Mm -hmm asked for he asked the pas and people in the house to ask what i would like for the birthday and all of that and it was put together 
And on that day, I was still not smiling because whatever was the issue between us has not been talked about, mm. has not been settled. And I didn't see the need. I was done. Mm. I just wanted to be away. But, oh, okay, play along because you don't want stories in the public realm. You don't want people reasoning and saying stuff. I played along. Now, if I were to be the one spreading these rumors, from day one, I would go to the press. He beats me, he does this, 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 this. I would have said a lot. But I'm not that person. Mm -hmm. Not because I want to protect his image or I was going to... I just believe so many people have issues, but that's not the way to go about it. Right. Coming to the media to say things. Mm -hmm. I have kids. These are four boys. They're going to grow up tomorrow. Is that what I want them to read? Right. right. So why are you doing this one? I'm doing this one because my kids will still ask me, Mom, what did you do? Our father called you a prostitute. Mm. Our father called you this. Our father said this about you. Of course, it's very obvious that the things on the media, he sponsors them because I have, I have people screenshot the mails he sent to them with those articles on me and send it back to me. Your husband, you are sick, yes. alleging that your husband sensed negative, yes. your ex, the father of your kids, sends negative stories about you directly to media houses. Mommy, you know, confronted him on one occasion because they are in all these um, elite groups, WhatsApp, WhatsApp groups. Yeah. He sends these things to those WhatsApp groups. Now, on one occasion, she said, Femi, why are you doing this? He couldn't answer. So well, he would tell her later, he would do this. On one, she, not, she got upset. She said, if you're not going to explain to me why you do this, stop doing it. That this is the mother of your children. You don't do this to her. It is very wrong. So she took up the fight. She called me. She asked my side of the story. I told her. She said, no, regardless of whatever it is, this is the wrong way. That he should stop sending all these things he sends around about me. So that's, so the only reason you believe he's doing this is because you left. Because I don't want to be with him anymore. He's, Ego feels ruptured. That's all. That's all. Because in his sober days, he, he would tell people that care to listen. Oh, she's a fantastic person. She's the best person that's happened to my life. She did this, she did that. She stood by me. She protected me when everybody left me. Right. She did this, she did that. So he wants you back? <sighs> I don't want to admit. But basically, most people have said that. And I don't want it. And you don't want to go back? I've had enough. You've had enough. Your children, where are they? They are with him. I haven't seen them since August 2nd, 2020. Since August 2nd, 2020, 2020. you've not seen your children? I've not seen my children. Since August of last year, you've I not seen, seen your seen children. Did the court grant him custody? No. So, so, so are you, you have, but you, so I'm assuming you are physically present, prevented from seeing I am by physically, his... yes, because when I it walked out of his house that day, he was going to beat me. Mm. I just came back from a surgery. I had a myomectomy done. And then I came back. Later on, I was able to put the piece together. There was someone that visited me from the hospital and came home with us that he's had some kind of friction with. I don't know what they were doing. Mm -hmm. From the conversation he gave to someone else, he said they had some sort of entanglement. But the girl called it an August entanglement. I don't know what that was. But I didn't know they had some sort of friction and that the girl's presence was irritating him. So he stirred the fight. This was last year? Yes. Just, I had a surgery on the 31st of July. Right. And then I got back home on the 2nd. Mm. Less than two hours of getting back. She visited and I was having a conversation. So he looked through the camera. I think he noticed how she was talking to me. He doesn't know what she was saying to me. Apparently, he suspected she must have been telling me what went on between the two of them. Right. I don't know. He sent for me. And then I entered his room. He stood me with the staff lined up. And then he complained that some money was missing in his bag when I was in the hospital. So I said, I've been in the hospital fighting for my life. Why am I coming back to come and start explaining who stole money and money and who didn't steal money? And you know, I'm not well. I just had a long cut on my tummy. I was barely standing and all of that. He said, no, this is what happens all the time. These girls, they'll steal from him. They will do this. They will do that. He was yelling. So I said, calm down. Let's get to the bottom. The PA was on the floor searching the bag that mm. had the money. Mm. So I said, she kept saying, sir, let me explain. Sir, let me explain. So I said, let her explain. He refused. 
So I said, Chisum, explain. She now gave the whole explanation. It turned out that the money in question he was looking for was the money he ordered her to give to the pastors that live in his house praying for his presidential ambition. For his presidential ambition. Yeah, there are seven pastors in the room downstairs. They are praying for FFK to become president. Presidential ambition. I had to deal with a lot. <sighs> These same pastors are the pastors that wake up in the morning and say, I am Delilah, that he should throw me out. That the Lord says, I am um, Delilah. I'll be thrown out for the real woman to come and follow him into glory, that I don't support his destiny. Some days they'll call me Vashti, that they will throw me out and Esther will replace me. And that morning, he will stir up the fight from nowhere and I'll be thrown outside the gates huh. with nothing and no kids. So most times I would agitate because my kids are in there. I can't leave. Mm. I said, if I must leave, I'll go with my kids. Give me my kids. Let me go with my kids. It'll be drama. I'll end up in my friend Esther's house. Then after two weeks, he will call someone to beg me and then physically come and apologize. And because the cycle that used to happen. Yeah. Do you know if your children are all right? Well, I don't know because I, they don't take my calls. I don't know the school he changed my, my, my sons to. I'm told they go to school. The last time I filed a suit in, in, in court, they said the children are in school and that they are okay. I don't know the school they go to. I don't know who their teachers are. So you know nothing? I don't even know the nannies they are with. Nothing. I have no access to my kids. Okay. Two last questions. If you are... So, are you not worried about how he will react to this interview if you... I'm done worrying about what he thinks. I worry about my children and mm -hmm. what they are exposed to. Mm -hmm. I am worried that I don't want to produce sons that would end up with his character traits. Mm -hmm. That's my major worry. That's a major worry. Yeah. And, and you are hoping that this interview... What are you hoping to accomplish with this interview? Well, I haven't said a word since all of this drama. Mm. Nobody has heard my side of the story from me. Mm. The only things people are privy to are the things I file in court. Mm. Because those documents are public record um, documents after they are filed. So mm. most journalists pick them and they share them. Mm. Now, a personal interview, I haven't done one. I just intend to state these facts out. Especially with the constant intimidation from the police. Mm. on his behalf. Mm. I need to say my side of the story because mm. everybody sees it as, oh, this woman is problematic. She's doing this, she's doing that. I've said nothing. Mm. Even the videos that leaked of him and the domestic staff, that was him because my Gmail was hacked. Mm. And those things were gotten from my mail. Thank you for sharing this with me. Thank um, you. Again, these are allegations, but if they are true, I am very sorry for what you're having to go through. Thank you. And I cannot imagine not seeing your children for more than one year. Oh, well, there are pictures always in my memory. So we had nice times. We yeah. played a lot. So I used those moments to, to console you. myself and tell myself that it won't be long. I pray you find a resolution so you can see your kids as soon as possible. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for watching. If the video interests you, please share.